guys, uh, just before we begin everything, I do know this lighting is not great. You are in the very corner of my bedroom and there's just not really a way for me to get my spotlight in there, so please just bear with me. Hey party people, welcome back to So Square and Cubed. I'm Jamie, hi. So last week you guys watched me declutter my closet using the KonMari method. I figured if I'm gonna be true to the KonMari method, I might as well stick with it. So we are moving on to the next category, which is books. As you can see, I have a lovely collection of junk on my bookshelf. We're not worrying about all of the little knickknacks on my bookshelf today. We are strictly worried about just the books. Now before we get started, there are some things that I need to get out of the way. Firstly, if you're not subscribed already, don't know what you're waiting for, but it's totally cool. I'm here to remind you to go down below and hit the subscribe button. Also, you can hit the notification bell. You don't have to, but if it makes you happy, feel free to do so. It'll also let you know about everything I post depending on your settings. If you'd like to support me in other ways, I do have an active Patreon and Ko-fi. Currently, I am saving up for a camera, which don't know when that's gonna happen, but I will keep you guys updated. If you would like to get to know me outside of the YouTube sphere, you can also find me on both Instagram and Twitter. That'll be kind of where to find me in between my YouTube videos. And lastly, please comment down below. Are you decluttering? Do you have a collection of books? Do you read books? I used to, and then something switched in my brain, and now I just can't for the life of me focus on a book but I'm trying and we are slowly getting better. All right, you guys, all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. So if you did miss it last time, or if you just aren't sure what the KonMari cleaning method is or the KonMari method of decluttering, it is Marie Kondo's minimalism-based method of decluttering and only keeping things around that you enjoy or in her words, spark joy. Now, along with this, there are six rules of the KonMari cleaning method to keep in mind as we move along our decluttering journey. Step number one, commit yourself to tidying up. I have already done my clothes and I figured that it would be good to kind of get the rest of my space organized too. You guys don't really know this because you don't see me so much behind the scenes, but I have days where I'm not really in the best mental health or physical health. And today is actually one of those days. I'm not feeling great, my body's very shaky. So on days like today is when I lose my motivation to put things away and in their proper place. When I was doing my closet, I saw the outcome of it and it's really great. Even though I do still have a lot of clothes, it's made my life a lot easier. So I figured if I applied the KonMari method to the rest of my home, it would make those areas easier to deal with as well. Especially on days like today when I'm having to take breaks in between sentences and sit down and recuperate. Now step number two is imagining your ideal lifestyle. For my books and most specifically my bookshelf, I want it to be neat and organized but still with some character. I also want to be able to easily find the book I'm looking for, grab it, and be able to put it back without knocking a bunch of stuff over. Step number three is to finish discarding first before you start organizing and putting things back in the proper places, which I fully agree with, mostly because if I don't know how much stuff I'm going to keep, I don't know how to organize it properly in a way that is going to be easy for me in the future. Now the fourth rule to keep in mind is that we are tidying and organizing by category of item, not by location, which is great for me because these books are all right here, except the books that are already on my bed were in my car and I have books sitting on my desk and I think I have some books inside my side table. So I've got books everywhere. Rule number five is to follow the correct order of categories as you move through your tidying journey. So the first category was clothes. We did that last week. Again, if you missed it, I will link it above and down below. And the next category is books. And then rule six is to ask yourself if the item sparks joy. Now this I do have trouble with because I'm not very in tune with my own feelings. Like I can tell you when I feel physically unwell but I can't really tell you off the top of my head, does this thing make me happy? I know that's a little bit too deep for this video, so we'll just lock those feelings inside and bury them down deep, deep, deep so they can't be dug up again. But that is something I struggle with, and if you're here on this channel, that might be something you struggle with too. Maybe in a few years, when I'm more mentally in tune with myself, uh, <laughs> I'll be able to say it's Bart's story or not, but for now, I'm being very gentle with myself and my emotions. I'm gonna go ahead and start moving my books off of this shelf and onto my bed. I also do wanna preface, these two shelves right here are Sean's books, so I'm not going to be touching those. Step 
So that is everything on my bookshelf, but it's not all of my books. So let's go around the house and find them all. Oh look, I already found one. There's one more book. Hey look, here's another. There's a book. Oh hey, look at this. This is a book. That's more of a journal. Uh, that's just a box. We'll consider all three of those to be books. And oh, look back here. These are books. Oh, and what's that down there? That's one more book. And that's it. That is all of my books. I know I'm just supposed to go through them and say, does this spark joy or not? But my brain does not want to work with me today. So I just, I can't deal with this. I need to sort them out in two categories. Okay, so here are my categories so far. Spooky or creepy story books, or just general creepy books. I have books that I had to read for school. These are books that we created for school. Magazines, comic books, and I'm gonna put graphic novels in here too. This right here is my graphic novel section. This is poetry. This is general or of interest reading. These are journals, they don't count. These are how-to books. These are textbooks activity books, books I need to return because someone let me borrow them, my tarot cards, and religious readings. Now we have to do the part that I am moderately least excited by and figure out what of these I want to keep and what I don't want to keep. So off camera, I went through the rest of my books and um, I think I failed. I am not getting rid of anything. That's kind of not true. I am getting rid of two books because they're not actually mine and I have to ship them back to my friend to let me borrow them. Um, I've had them for like four years now. So in essence, don't ever let me borrow a book because you will not get it back. The only two that I am kind of questioning are these two and I want to read them before I get rid of them just because I actually don't know if they're any good or not. So other than that, I'm keeping pretty much everything. So I feel kind of bad because this video doesn't really have that like super satisfying ending of like, look at all the stuff I'm getting rid of. But I mean, if you guys think about it, I did this just a year or two ago and got rid of a lot of stuff. So I, I guess maybe this really is just the stuff that I want. I don't know. If you're asking me why I'm keeping textbooks, it's because I want to be the person to grab a textbook off of the shelf and like does a problem or two in it. Math and physics is what my degree was focused in. So I just wanna have these guys around because they're good reference material and they also cost me thousands of dollars. So that's kind of where we stand. Uh, and now I just have to put everything on the shelf in like an orderly, nice and neat fashion. I really can't believe I didn't get rid of anything. I feel kind of dumb. Oh well, let's go ahead and put everything back. Hey, party people. So unfortunately, um, the numbers don't lie. I had exactly 100 books. I'm keeping 98 of them. 
I kind of feel like I failed. I feel like if Marie Kondo was here right now, she'd be like, why are you keeping so much? A lot of these books, I either really, really do enjoy reading or they're something that I want to keep because I want to use them. So I don't know. Maybe I'm doing this whole thing wrong. I'm a little disappointed in myself. This isn't the drastic change that I was thinking I would get. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not asking myself the right question. I think I failed. I feel bad about myself. I don't feel physically good either. So I, I'm just gonna call it here and curl up in bed and maybe read a book. Although if I'm honest, I might listen to an audiobook instead. That's kind of it for me. I'm not really looking forward to next KonMari video because it is papers. Um, and if you can see that whole stack right there, that's all notes from school. And you might be thinking, oh, just college? And no, like since 2008. I, I keep all of my school notes. I don't know why. I just, I do it. I don't know. But in the meantime, you guys, thank you so, so, so very much for watching this far. Thank you for subscribing, for commenting, for liking. It really warms my heart. I enjoy making this content, even though sometimes I really do struggle with it. Until next time, I love you, stay cool, stay cute, and I will see you in the next one. Mwah! Toodles!